Good morning, Don Cabas with Great Lakes Grain. We're on day two of our Great Lakes Grain Crop Assessment Tour uh, out here with Dale Cowan. We're just outside of Chatham. Uh, so yesterday we probably were in well over 50 fields across the province. Saw some pretty decent corn yields overall. Um, Dale, what do we see here today? We've got a couple of leaves here and you've got some black spots on the other and some brown on, on the other one. What, what's yeah. going on here? Well, one thing's done, apart from yield, we like to do some observations in the field. And one of the, I guess the newest disease or the concern that we have, one of the newest uh, fungal pathogen is tar spot, which is blown up out of the uh, corn belt. And it's just uh, started hitting us late last fall. And now it's, it's uh, quite easy to find in the Southwest part. And it's these uh, black, um, it looks like spots of tar. Tar spot. Yeah, but and you can imagine feel, that. <laughs> yeah, and they aptly named. And so the way to, to uh, figure out a tar spot, a you can't rub them off, and they're on both sides. Like they protrude their little bump on the leaf. And they protrude on both sides of the leaf. So that's how you can tell it's tar spot. And when you're out in the field, it tends to be found where the leaf stays the wettest during the day. So this is one of the upper leaves, and this morning this was still wet where the rest of the leaf has, as you can see, the upper leaves where it bends over, it's wet. Down here, the lower leaves, you'll probably see it more in the middle where the water stays longer because it likes, uh, likes to have a wet canopy develop. So depending on where it is, uh, where the leaf is, is you're going to find it uh, wherever the water is in the leaf. So the, the significance of this is if it's present during our normal fungicide timing, we can look after it. But the problem is if, if it comes later, our fungicides that we currently use for VT and R1 are good for 14 or so days. If this comes later, then we don't know yet, but research is ongoing. It could very well warrant another spray if it's really severe, but we don't know that yet until we get some more research and, done. And how it'll continue to spread, Dale, or what's what will that look like yeah. in time? Well, if we come back next week, this leaf will start to yellow. When you start to yellow, you're losing your photosynthetic capacity, can't make sugar, can't fill grain. In the U.S., the most severe uh, yield hits have been between 20 and 60 bushel yield loss when it's really uh, severe. Wow. Yeah, so and, it's quite significant. And what else you got cooking there, Dale? Well, this is one we normally see quite often. It's rust, and it can look quite similar, although it's, it's going to be more, as the name implies, rust color. Uh, but the thing is, you can rub these off. So when you get rust on there, you can rub these off. So that's how you know it's not a tar spot. And again, it'll have the same effect. It's on both sides of the leaf. Again, our, our fungicides tend to look after these things when, uh, when the timing is right and uh, they don't be too much of a concern. Usually, both these these like really prolonged wet canopy conditions. So high humidity, foggy mornings. When you walk in the field at noon, you're still getting your shirt wet. Those are the ideal conditions for, for these kind of pathogens. Any kind of yield loss on the on the rust portion? I would say at this point, on, there's only one or two leaves on the plant. I'd say it's minimal. Uh, we haven't seen the spread. It's not uh, hasn't turned the field orange yet. So that's when you when you're really when you're really in trouble. So you're going to see some on there. It's negligible yield loss at this point with this kind of uh, uh, rust infection. Okay, great. Thanks, Dale. This is day two of our crop assessment tour. We're in Chatham here today. Um, hey, if you want your field done on our website we'll be more than happy to do that for you log on or call any of our staff we'd be love love to go out and uh, check out your crop